My name is Jamie, uh, so in a uh, previous video we put out, or we're going to put out, uh, so you may have seen uh, one of our other interpreters, Andrew, he was actually sitting right here, he was working on a few things with muskets, uh, so he's the guy that does our small arms, I'm the guy that works on the big guns, uh, so this is one of them, this is a four inch, four and a half inch, excuse me, mortar, uh, so the tube for it, uh, so I have the bed for it in another room, I'll take you in a few minutes here. Uh, so what I'm doing with this is I'm polishing it up, uh, so I probably should have done a side-by-side -side comparison, uh, so because it's already fairly clean, but uh, this entire area used to be pitted, it used to be the same color as this rag right here, uh, so I had to go ahead and take a toothbrush to it, clean all that out, uh, so and I'm constantly finding other spots that I'm going to have to clean here soon. 
so whenever I'm not working on this, uh, so a few other things we got going in the shop at the moment. Uh, so this right here is called a yoke. Uh, so the holes on either side here are fit for ropes. Uh, so and this just makes jobs a whole lot easier. Uh, so on the ends of those ropes, there's going to be some hooks, and it just helps you move all these buckets that you see right behind. Uh, so it uh, yeah, just allows you to work smarter, not harder. That's something else we're doing. All those buckets had to be brought inside because there's a lot of ice outside at the moment. Last thing I want is actually ice collecting inside those things and of course it causes damage to the buckets. So I had to go ahead and bring those in. Uh, painting up our yoke here, uh, so painting up a uh, quill box. This is something that we use to store uh, some demo quills. Quill is basically a fuse that you place inside of a cannon. Uh, so I have a few of them actually right here. Uh, so this is something that we will show every now and then during artillery demos. I'm going to have uh, our lovely volunteer here. Uh, so she's repainting another sign that we keep out at our camp. Uh, so everything you see at our outdoor areas, they are constantly being repainted, redone, worked on, so that way our camp looks uh, as spiffy as possible. Uh, so this is what we do during the winter. Uh, so, But yeah, come on over here. I'll show you actually where we keep another gun. So the mortar is our smallest gun that we have over there. This is one of our largest guns. On it. Looks underwhelming at the moment because the tube's been taken off of it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off just for now because it's kind of loud in here. Uh, so this is a carriage belonging to one of our six pound field guns. Uh, so what has to be done to this is, well, you see it's not just wood. I also have an iron trails, the wheels here, uh, so and all of this has to be repainted. Uh, so the color that this iron is right here, these wheels should be the same color. They're not. So I'm going to have to go ahead and take the wheels off of this thing. I'm going to go ahead and repaint it, put them back on. And uh, when I take the wheel off, that's actually half the battle. Uh, so you see I also have this wooden axle right here that actually allows me to keep the wheel on the carriage. I'm going to have to go ahead and take the wheel off and uh, put fresh grease actually on the axle so that way it moves like it should. Uh, so that's going to be a pain to take care of. Uh, so, but uh, yeah, I've got to do that both wheels. After that, i got to take the carriage outside. I have to treat it with uh, some bulwark, which is um, a mixture that is going to be to seal the carriage, making sure if it rains, if it snows, nothing's going to happen to it. Uh, so, which is good, considering these things actually sit outside whenever they're not uh, in here being worked on. Uh, so. Now you come outside, you can see actually the cannon tube for it. It was taken off this morning. Uh, all right. There it is, peeking out right there. closer but ta -da, there it is so it was already shined up so it looks pretty good but uh, with it off of the carriage this actually allows me to at some point flip this thing upside down I don't know how I'm gonna do that I'm gonna figure it out I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet uh, so we go ahead and clean and buff the underside of that barrel which is a spot we can't really get to when it's sitting on that thing all year round uh, so definitely gonna clean this out and it is sitting outside at the moment, uh, much to my chagrin. I don't want it outside. At some point, it's going to be inside with the carriage. So that way, when it does snow and a lot of ice is on the ground, nothing happens to this thing. Uh, so, because this is one of our oldest guns. Uh, so I was told this was uh, purchased for the foundation, I think, back in the 90s. So uh, that means that this barrel and that carriage are about as old as I am. Uh, so, and uh, much like me, it, it has problems. <laughs> so, you know, it's uh, back pain, all that. So. Got to make sure this thing is fully operational.
pictures because I'm kind of doing two things at the same time. I'm not just painting the gun. Uh, as I paint, as I go by and do everything, wood missing, I can see chips out of it. Or worse, if there's rotting wood. If I see any of those things, I'll stop, take a picture of it, and uh, see if I can fix it later. Or at the very least, just document it so we know it's there. This isn't the only gun we have. I have about two more of these six pound guns I have to take care of. I have that mortar inside you just saw. Uh, so we also have our brand new howitzer that uh, we just got for the foundation. Uh, so and uh, all of this has to be taken care of, make sure it's up to date, maintenance is good. Uh, so and yeah, just stay tuned because I'm going to be doing all this stuff. Uh, so I just wanted to do a quick intro showing you what we got going on. Uh, so just go ahead and leave a comment down below if there's something you would like to see me do. Uh, so, you know, step by step. Uh, so definitely we can do that. If not, I'm just going to start doing stuff. Uh, so I don't know exactly in what order I'm going to go in yet, but I'll figure it out. Uh, so, but thanks for tuning in, guys. Be sure to uh, like, subscribe, definitely leave a comment down below. Anything you'd like to see. Uh, so I can definitely put that at the top of the list because it all needs to get done at some point. Uh, so, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys.